In southeastern Arizona, nestled amongst the remote Chiricahua Mountains, lies a vast and rugged expanse of land known as the Chiricahua National Monument. This area is characterized by steep gullies, canyons, jagged rocks, and massive boulders balancing atop each other, creating a landscape that resembles the moonscape of some alien world. Despite its otherworldly appearance, the Chiricahua National Monument is part of a national park system. It holds a place on the National Register of Historic Places and is renowned for its natural beauty and unique rock formations. Visitors to this area can experience the wild and often lethal beauty of this land by hiking its scenic trails. However, the Chiricahua National Monument is also known for one of the most puzzling unsolved national park disappearances on record. The disappearance in question involves Paul Fugate, who at the time was a 41-year-old law enforcement ranger working for the National Park Service and stationed at the Chiricahua National Monument. Fugate was known for his enthusiasm as a ranger, his love for adventure, and his experience as a hiker. He was also highly knowledgeable of the region's terrain and geology. On January 13, 1980, a Sunday afternoon, Fugate told a seasonal staff member working with him at the Park Visitor Center that he was going to check the trail leading to a new 400-acre parcel of land acquired by the park called Faraway Ranch. After telling the staff member to close down without him if he wasn't back by 4.30 p.m., Paul Fugate, a seasoned park ranger, set out on the well-marked trail to the Faraway Ranch in his full ranger uniform and badge. It was supposed to be a quick hike, and Fugate didn't even bother to take his radio with him. He waved goodbye and casually walked out of sight. He then seemingly disappeared off the face of the earth. This would be the last confirmed time anyone would see him. When Fugate failed to return on time, a search was launched that involved tracking dogs, aircraft, and hundreds of law enforcement personnel from various agencies, including the National Park Service, the local sheriff's department, the Bureau of Land Management, the U.S. Forest Service, and the Southern Arizona Search and Rescue Association. Family members and volunteers also joined in on the search, starting with the trail at a Faraway Ranch, where no trace of Fugate could be found, despite the search expanding to cover 17 square miles of rough and rugged terrain. Law enforcement authorities became increasingly desperate to locate Fugate and posted a $5,000 reward, which quickly ballooned to $20,000. However, none of this produced any leads. The only clue that seemed promising was from a witness who, under hypnosis, claimed to have seen Fugate unconscious in a truck between two unidentified men. There was absolutely no corroborating evidence to support this, and the witness himself admitted he could have been mistaken. The vehicle was traveling very fast, and ultimately, this lead led nowhere. Although it was widely assumed that Fugate had met with foul play, there was no concrete evidence to support this theory also. As the search for Fugate continued, various theories circulated about his disappearance. The most popular theory suggested that Fugate had stumbled upon drug dealers in the area and was either kidnapped or murdered, but once again, there was no evidence to support this. Another theory suggested that Fugate may have been attacked by a wild animal or had suffered an injury from falling, but considering his experience as a ranger, it was considered unlikely. Another possible theory was that Fugate intentionally disappeared. One clue that supported this theory was his instruction to the visitor center staff to close the center if he had not returned by 4.30 p.m., suggesting that he knew he might not be back. However, Fugate's family has challenged the theory that he abandoned his post, as he had left all his money and belongings at his home, as well as an expensive car he had been restoring and his beloved camera equipment. Paul and Doty's longtime friend Barbara Elfbrand admits the mystery is often on her mind. I, I don't have the belief that I did originally that uh, it would be solved. All the good clues or breakthroughs have led to walls which they can never couldn't get through. I know that Paul didn't just leave on his own and I would like to know 
what happened to him and it would be closure, it would be peace. Fugay's disappearance is still one of the most puzzling unsolved National Park's vanishings on record. In 1986, the National Park Service officially declared Fugate deceased despite having no conclusive evidence of his death. There have been criticisms of the authorities' handling of the case, including accusations that they did not take appropriate measures, such as extending the search area beyond the parkland, and that the FBI did not take the case seriously enough and tried to dismiss it. Despite the lack of evidence, rumors and theories about Fugate's disappearance have continued to circulate. Some have speculated that he stumbled upon drug dealers in the area and was killed or kidnapped while others have suggested that he may have been attacked by a wild animal or intentionally disappeared. While there is no concrete evidence to support any of these theories, the mystery surrounding Fugate's disappearance has yet to be fully resolved. In June of 2018, the National Park Service made a surprising move by reopening the decades-old case of Paul Fugate's disappearance. This announcement was made suddenly and without explanation but it came with a substantial increase in the reward for information, which now stands at $60,000. The National Park Service cited the discovery of new evidence as the reason for this decision, although no specifics were given. The sudden reopening of the case has raised questions and speculation about what this new evidence could be and whether it is significant enough to bring the case to a close. When the National Park Service was asked about the new evidence, they replied with, quote, we have no new information and respectfully decline to interview at this time. The fact that Fugate's case was reopened after so many years is unusual, and it suggests that authorities have reason to believe that they may finally be able to solve this mystery. However, whether this means that they are close to finding Fugate or discovering what happened to him remains to be seen. The circumstances surrounding his disappearance are murky and riddled with theories, rumors, and speculation. The lack of evidence or leads has made it challenging for investigators to determine what really happened to Fugate. What makes this case particularly strange is that most National Park Service rangers who have gone missing have been found, or at least some trace of them have been discovered. However, in Fugate's case, there is no concrete evidence to indicate what might have happened to him. Despite the renewed interest in the effort to solve this case, it seems that the disappearance of Paul Fugate remained a baffling mystery at least for the time being.